with the step-by-step -step for tying this patch rubber legs. So I'm using a fire hole 523 in a size 8, which is this guy, it's a jig hook. And we're using a slotted tungsten copper bead in this case. You can use, there's a ton of beads you can use. Um, I use black ones, copper ones, gold ones, just kind of mix it up. This is a slotted tungsten bead in a 3.8. We're gonna put some lead on this too. So we're gonna use the 0 0.025. And I try to stay consistent. I'll tie these patch rubber legs in a 3.8 bead and a 4.6 bead. But what I try to do is stay consistent with the amount of lead that I'm putting on them so there's a difference between the bugs. So I try to do like 10 wraps, whether it's a, a 3.8 bead or a 4.6 bead. We've got our Firehole 523, size 8, copper 3.8 tungsten bead. And we're going to do 10 wraps of lead. Break that guy off. As I'm tying, the lead will tend to sink or slip back a little bit. So what I usually do with my thread is, oh, and I'm using a black, for this bug I'm using a black um, eight dot thread. What I'll do is when I'm tying, so a lot of times I'll be doing this and the, this weight will start sliding around, it creates gaps in here. So what I'll do is I'll actually just go over, I'll push this lead forward and I'll, I'll kind of tie it down here a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go to the back of the hook, we're gonna put our starter legs. So I've got here the Bard Sexy Floss all medium legs. There's a million different types of legs and colors and stuff you can put on these. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna use the the all. This has been a good, I'm using the, the color, this one's gonna be the coffee black too and the stonefly chenille. That stuff's actually uh, pretty nice. That's one of my favorite colors. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take two of these and we're gonna cut these off. Now, what I do is I fold them over and create a little loop, get them measured up just right so they're the same, and then I'm gonna cut them right in the center. So now on my legs, I have four sets of, well, four legs total, two sets. So then the first one we're gonna tie in as the tail, but I take this leg and I wrap it on the thread and I grab it on the back, so now it's connected to the thread so I can do stuff with it. Wrap it around your thread and then what you do is just swing it around, pinch it in and now it's already on. So pretty uh, useful little trick. So I'll tie the first um, side in, fold this over, cinch that second side down and you can kind of manipulate these two when you're putting them in. They're pretty manageable to move around and, and make sure you get them lined up properly. Next is um, we're gonna tie in the chenille. Uh, this one, like I said, we're using the um, Fly Fish Food Small Still Fly Chenille. There's a ton of colors in this too. Um, this is probably one of my favorite colors. And then we're going to tie this in on the back. And there's another spot I try to stay consistent with these. Is so once I tie this in, I for my own self and my own flies that I'm tying, I will wrap this five times. So I will start here and wrap this five times. So I'll go one, two, and again, what this does for me is by having these five wraps is just create some kind of consistency and makes uh, tying these a little bit quicker. Now what I'm gonna do is grab another leg and same thing, we're gonna wrap it around the thread and then we can swing up pinch it, but then what I do is fold the leg over. So so then after I tie that in, I fold this one over and I kind of put a little tension on it and get it kind of lined up where I want to. And typically, this guy will go just about where you want. So then I'm gonna come forward and I'm gonna put this next leg on and I'm going to wrap it around the thread again, get them even, come up, pinch it, and this one, the, the leg towards the front is pointing already forward. So we're gonna leave that. We're gonna wrap this one over just like we did the back one. Come across, pull tension on it, get it where we want it, and pinch it with that thread, and then it's in a, like a pretty good spot there. So we don't even have to do anything with that one now. Then what we'll do is, and if you want your legs to adjust a little more, you can put some thread wraps in front of them too. That'll help adjust them, but you can do that with the chenille as well. We got our legs in here, now we can start wrapping our chenille up. And again, this is where we can kind of 
put a little pressure on these legs with the chenille too to get them where we want them. So then we'll come forward with this guy. I might tend to bunch it to front a little bit. Um, just kind of fills that gap between the bead and the lid and stuff. So I'll get some wraps on here to tighten that chenille down. Clip this. And what I'm going to do is build a little bit of a base here for the front antenna. So there's a, so where you put that bead on, there's a little bit of a gap there. And what I've noticed is when you put this front antenna on, um, if it falls in that gap, the antenna will go up. So if I build a little thread base up there, I can get this antenna to be pretty flat, this front one. So you can see like now, that's pretty flat in there. So I'll just wrap this guy back. Fold this guy over. And what I do is go back far enough so I can get on the other side of this and make that flat. Now you can see that antenna's nice and flat in there. It's not pointing up, which is nice. And then I'll just build a little base here. And we'll finish it. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty easy. So, quick, super quick and easy. This fly literally takes a few minutes to tie. It's not bad. Thanks for watching. Uh, like this video, subscribe, and set the reminder for uh, getting notified anytime that we post a new video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thanks for checking it out.